Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Owen, back again with another video. Today's video is gonna be my top five spring essentials. Now, normally a lot of these essentials and trend-based videos go over really, really basic stuff, but I tried to look at my closet and pick a few categories and a few pieces that I thought were a little bit outside the box, but are definitely still essentials that everybody should have in their wardrobe if they don't already. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so the first category I want to talk about are zip-up hoodies. Zip-up hoodies are definitely essential. I think pullovers are starting to get phased out just a little bit. It, but obviously they're still like a huge part of hoodies and all that stuff. Zip ups are definitely one of my favorite things to layer with right now just because it shows off what you're wearing underneath but you can still zip it up and it'll act as a pullover. A few key pieces I picked from my wardrobe. This right here is a Vetmont Sexual Fantasies hoodie. I believe this is from a couple years ago. This was back when Demno was still designing for Vetmont. This hoodie is insanely thick, so not like the perfect thing for spring, but obviously it's still wearable. It's got this really nice purple color with a red print. Very, very oversized. It's like a size medium, but it fits more like a double or triple XL. Another zip up hoodie that I got, which is definitely one of my favorites, and it's also one of the most recent things that I got. This is a Rick Owens Gimp hoodie. If you guys don't already know what this is, this hoodie is like a bape hoodie where it zips all the way up to the hood. Other than that one design element though, it is a really basic hoodie. It's very high quality, obviously, because it's Rick Owens. I got this one in a really nice brown color. I think the official color is bitter. And then the last hoodie that I quickly want to mention is this number nine white zip up hoodie with skull patches on the chest and sleeve. I've talked about this piece a few times in my other videos. But this is definitely one of my favorite zip up hoodies. It's just a really, really basic hoodie. It's got a raglan sleeve cut right there. It might be kind of hard to tell, but it's got raglan sleeves. And then it has these really cool skull patches. One is on the side, on the sleeve, and then one's facing forward on the chest. It's very cool. It's got like bullet holes everywhere. I don't own any other white hoodies, so this is definitely a unique piece for me. Let's move on to the next essential. Okay, next thing that I want to talk about, which I think is definitely coming back in 2018. It was definitely prevalent in 2016, 2017, but it kind of got phased out because of Jerry Lorenzo and his whole fear of God thing. And that category is vintage graphic t-shirts or like band t-shirts. Right here, I just pulled a couple from my closet. I have way too many. These are just a couple of my favorites. Right here is this type O negative t-shirt. It's got this beautiful square print right there and that has a flag on the back. It's a nice gray wash. Obviously you can get vintage tees in a bunch of different colors. One of my favorites though is definitely this dark wash. I think this was originally black due to age and it being washed many times. It's turned this really nice charcoal gray color. And the other one I want to quickly mention is this Jean Loves Jezebel t-shirt. It's got this really nice colorful print on it. Perfect for spring in my opinion. Has a really nice boxy cut. I think boxy t-shirts are still definitely my favorite type of fit, but obviously you can go with whatever you like. Boxy t-shirts just mean that it has a kind of a short length, but a really wide body. Vintage graphic tees like this can be matched with pretty much any outfit, especially if it's a simple graphic. If you guys haven't already seen my vintage t-shirt shopping video, you should definitely go watch that. I actually bought this one right here in that video. Moving on to the next spring essential, I want to talk about sandals. I know a few other channels have already covered sandals before, but I just wanted to give my take on it. Right here, I have the Prada Nylon High Top Sandals. These are actually the only pair of sandals I own currently, but they're so, so sick. Because these are high top, these are like really, really unique. Obviously going into spring and summer, it's gonna start warming up a lot. So sandals are a great option for shoes just to ensure that you don't overheat. These are definitely one of my favorite pairs of sandals that I've released in like the past year. Um, there are some really cool ones out there, but these are definitely one of my favorites. And they weren't too expensive too. I believe I got these for like around 200 bucks. Another really popular brand right now for sandals is Sui Coke. They have some really cool sandals. It has a really unique shape to them too. And also Louis Vuitton, they have some really, really nice sandals as well. I definitely want to cop one of them eventually in the future, but those are really cool. The next essential I want to talk about is shorts. I think shorts are perfect for spring and summer. Obviously it's gonna start warming up, so you don't wanna wear as many layers. You don't wanna wear long pants as often. I've started to expand my collection of shorts a lot, and one of my favorite pairs that I picked up in the past couple months is a pair of undercover net cargo shorts. I actually have a black pair as well, but this is definitely my favorite colorway. It has a tiger camo pattern that goes all the way around. And then on the front panel, it has this really cool net material that's just laid over top. It's something that's really, really unique. It kind of separates it from other pairs of shorts that are out there. Cargo shorts are definitely one of my favorites Right now. I'm not a huge fan of drawstring shorts, but I can definitely see them being styled correctly. I know Jacob Wallace, or who is Jacob, he released his own pair of shorts with the drawstring. Those fit really, really nice. I do have a pair of those, and they are perfect. But yeah, carpenter shorts or cargo shorts are definitely an essential for spring. They have a really cool fit to them. You can find really cool design elements like these ones, the netting. Maybe they'll have a really cool print on them. It's definitely something that you should get for spring. The last essential that I want to talk about is light wash 
paint splattered denim. I feel like jeans and denim in the past like six months were kind of in a little bit of a lull just because of the whole ripped jeans trend kind of being oversaturated. But something that's really stood out to me and something that I definitely see being worn a lot in spring is paint splatter jeans, especially with a light wash. Right here I have a pair of helmet laying paint splatter jeans. These are actually a reissue pair. They did a re-release of some of their previous collections and I decided to pick these up. I believe these were like around 250 bucks. These are really, really high quality jeans. They kind of fit like dad jeans. They're very straight legged. It just has paint splatters of white and black. Very, very wearable in my opinion. And then the other pair that I want to talk about is a pair of these number nine paint splatter jeans. I know I've mentioned these in my other videos, but these are definitely one of my favorite pair of jeans I have right now. It's a very, very light wash, and then it has multicolored paint splatters going all over. I definitely see slim and skinny jeans getting phased out very, very soon, if not already. So you definitely should get straight leg or maybe even flare pants. I definitely see that being huge in 2018. I know that Magnus Ronning is doing some paint splatter stuff for his Ronning collection. I think he's doing shorts and carpenter pants. I could be wrong, but you should definitely go check them out. Yeah, I just think that jeans being light wash and including bright colors makes it great for spring, allows you to coordinate a lot of outfits. It just looks great overall, and it gives a nice vintage feel too, even if it isn't vintage like the helmet laying pants. These aren't vintage, these are brand new. That's all I have for my spring essentials. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what are some of your spring essentials. I'm really curious to hear. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. I think we just passed 7K, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much for that. I'll see you guys next week with another video. My name's Zone. Peace out. See you guys later.